In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, beloved of the Lord. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume, welcoming you to today's edition of Catholic Meditation. Today is Thursday, the 20th of April, 2023. It is Thursday of the second week of Easter, Church Year A. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, verses 27 to 33. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 34. The response to the psalm is, The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 3, verses 31 to 36. I read from the first reading. In those days, when the officers had brought the apostles, they set them before the council, and the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name, yet, here you are, you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed, by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Obey God rather than human beings. Obey God rather than human beings. Dear friends in Christ, Permit me begin today's meditation by narrating a little story or experience if you want. In Africa, Cameroon in particular, there is always the tendency of young boys scavenging pears or fruits in general from farms or orchards that do not belong to them. To scare these boys away, those who own such fruit trees tie little charms and place on the fruit trees to scare the boys away. And oh, how people fear to touch such fruit trees where they see such charms. These charms sometimes are snail shells tied with black and red cloths. Some of these charms are also placed in farmlands so that passers-by may not be tempted to get into those farmlands to harvest where they did not plant. And in truth, I tell you, people fear such charms. There is a story of these boys who went to scavenge as usual. When they got to one of those fruit trees, it was a mango fruit tree, they found a picture of Jesus Christ. It was the sacred heart of Jesus Christ. What happened? They saw it. And they climbed the tree 
and ate as much as they wanted and left without any fear. But when they returned some other day, it was not that picture they found. They found this charm, snail shells tied with a dead lizard, red cloth and black cloth, and I tell you, they escaped. They did not climb. One of their friends said, no, they should not mind. In fact, to neutralize the power of such charms, they could pee on it. But well, these are all theories. The long and short is, they feared to even touch the tree because of those charms. Why did I bring this story or experience? Just to share with you how much we fear things of the world, human instructions, but when it comes to things of God, we do not give a damn. Normally, we should fear to see the picture of Jesus, but who cares? They climbed the tree and ate as much as they wanted. But when they met some charms made by some human person, some concoctions, they feared and did not want to touch. It is exactly what the reading of today talks about and the message of today. Obey God rather than human beings' instructions. This was the response that the apostles gave to the elders who had asked them to stop preaching in the name of Christ. We ordered you, the elders said to them. We commanded you to stop preaching in this name. But what have you done? You have filled the entire Jerusalem with the story of this man's name and you intend to put his death on our heads. The apostles had received two instructions. One from Jesus to go and proclaim the resurrection to be witnesses. And the other instruction was from the elders to stop preaching the gospel. These two instructions were contradictory and opposed to each other. Keeping one meant they had to forfeit the other. In the words and in the language of economics, they had to make a choice and one had to be the foregone alternative. In the language of logic, it was an exclusive disjunction Either or, there was no standing on the fence. They could not do both. It was either they listened and obeyed the instructions of Jesus to go out and proclaim and be witnesses of the resurrection, or they listened and obeyed the instructions of the elders not to preach. Either way, they could not keep both. If they kept one, they would not have kept the other. The apostles were resolute. We will obey God and follow his instructions rather than follow the instructions of human beings. By this, they meant they will keep God's instructions and they will forego the other. They will preach according to what Jesus had told them to do and they will not do what the elders had asked of them. Of course, there were going to be consequences. Beloved of the Lord, we are not saying that it is a bad thing to follow the instructions of human beings. No, after all, it is the same God who tells us in the fourth commandment, honor your father and your mother. By this is meant, we should do what they ask of us. And by implication, all our elders and superiors. We should honor them, obey them, and follow their instructions. But when those instructions are in line with what God wants from us and of us. If their instructions are contradictory and go opposed to God's will, then we have a mandate not to obey them. On the day of Jesus' baptism, the voice of the Father was heard, This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. We are commanded always to listen to Jesus and to obey him. If Israel had one great problem, it was their failure to listen to God's voice and obey his instructions. All oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. But Israel did not obey God. We too, we often fail to obey God, but we choose to obey human beings. We will see God's picture and careless about it. But when we see charms 
and see amulets made by human beings, we will follow such instructions and not dare touch what we are told not to touch. But why is this so, you may ask or you may wonder. God tells us, do this, and we don't do it. He says, don't do this, but that is what we do. Yet, we will follow the instructions of human beings, even to the displeasure of God. We follow instructions of human beings because we seek favors. We seek a good name. We seek promotion, especially from our superiors. After all, when you do what a superior asks of you, even when it is not in line with God's words, you buy your face in front of them, they see you as a good fellow, a good playboy, a boot licker. We may even kill if and when instructed to by an authority or superior because we want to have a good face in front of them. We follow instructions of human beings over the instructions of God because we fear what these human beings may do to us should we fail. We fear we may lose their friendship, especially if they are those who matter. We fear that we may lose our job or position, especially if the job or position was given to us by them. We fear we may lose the benefits we enjoy from them. After all, they are our breadwinners. They are our bread providers. So we are better play ball. We fear they may eliminate and kill us, so we choose to play along with them. We follow instructions of human beings over that of God for the sake of loyalty. We hear many say, I just want to be a loyal friend. But oh, come on, beloved, not to the displeasure of God. Let us be reminded, Jesus says, Do not fear those who can kill the body and after that do no more. Fear rather the one who can destroy both body and soul. But oh, how often we fear human beings who can destroy only the body. We follow their instructions. But we do not fear God who can destroy the soul. And so we wave aside his own instructions. Please, rather than disobey God, who can destroy the soul, yet follow instructions of human beings, we beg of you, God's good people, follow the instructions of God. This is what the apostles did in the first reading. They did not care what the elders would do to them, even if they were to be killed. After all, they would just kill the body. They followed the instructions of God because he had the power to destroy both body and soul. Please, let no human being remote control you around. They are not God, especially if their instructions are contrary to that of God. It is better to obey God than to follow the instructions of human beings. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. You may lose all of these things here on earth. Save your soul in heaven than follow instructions of human beings that are contrary to God.